Hey guys, Black Desert video today showing you where and how you can get the first tier of timber in the game. Now I'm a huge fishing enthusiast, in games at least, uh, fishing is always the real end game. And something I love in Black Desert Online and something I loved in Arcade as well is spending time building your first boat and heading out into the sea and just chilling and fishing, slowly upgrading your ship and getting bigger hauls as you go. So my first goal that I set for myself for the closed beta and for the official release too is to build myself a boat get out on the open ways as soon as possible. And to do that you need a huge amount of ash timber. So if you're new to Black Desert there's a couple of ways you can collect raw materials. The first way is sort of your traditional MMO gathering, you go out into the wild and then you just gather the item yourself. To do this you'll need a tool specific to the item you're collecting, in this case we're looking for axes to chop wood. These can be bought early on from the material vendors and I'll just show you the one in Velia on the map so you know what to look out for. The most basic axe is 60 silver and has 10 durability which means you can chop down 10 trees with it before it breaks. Make sure you equip your axe and then you can head out into the forested areas around here. Um, you're looking for ash trees, you can find out what the tree is by approaching it and then a little menu will come up telling you where it is. Uh, the ash tree is sort of a mossy brown colour and it looks like it's got all the branches snapped off. After the first ash tree you chop down you'll be able to identify them really easily. So. Then simply interact with the tree. It'll take 20 seconds for the gather to complete and it'll cost you one energy. Because of the energy cost it's not an infinite way to gather it but if you're willing to spend your energy on it then I'd recommend you do so. The next way to acquire ash timber and I would suggest using it in conjunction with chopping it yourself is to utilise the worker system. As far as I know there are four nodes you can send your workers out to gather ash timber from but one is sort of out of the way of the others so I don't really use it. This one is right next to the starting town Olvia. Start by connecting Castor Farm to it, and then from here you can connect to Wolf Hills, which is where the timber can be collected. Again, I wouldn't recommend it since it's out of the way of the other nodes, but it only costs free contribution like two of the others, so it's your call really. Then, moving across to Velia, there's a couple of nodes really close to the town itself, which again only require free contribution points each. The first node requires you to connect to Finto Farm and from here you can connect to Ewaz Hill and there will be an ash timber node here. Connecting from here and from Velia itself, so it doesn't really matter which you unlock first, is to Froze with Plunder, which you can then link to the Goblin Caverns, and the Goblin Caverns is where the next ash timber node is. The final node is the most expensive one to get to, you have to unlock Heidel Pass and then connect to Balanos Forest. Um, Heidel Pass costs free contribution to unlock, so I'd recommend unlocking this one last, maybe not even unlocking it at all, depending on how much contribution you have lying around and how much timber you want to gather. Uh, the good part of this node though is that it's about halfway between Velia and Heidel, so you can send workers here from either destination in decent time. So I'll just quickly show you how you can send a worker to get the timber, basically just open up your world map and then click on the node that you want. So in this case, Elwes Hill. First you have to unlock the node by clicking uh, add contribution or something in the top left corner. And then you have to do the same on the node itself. That will cost you two contribution points. Then click on the worker you want to send out. I can't send my first goblin worker because he's hungry. He's a hungry boy, he needs some beer. So I'll send the giant. Just click send and then the work will begin traveling to the location. It'll take 43 minutes to do. Um, if you just look at the map here, you can see my worker is there and then if we move out of the map and let's see where he is yeah you can see this giant here that's my worker he's off he's gonna waddle off and in 43 minutes we'll come back and the lumber uh, the timber will go straight into my warehouse and then the final way that you can get timber is to use the marketplace Depending on how much silver you've got, this can be pretty good. It's not very expensive, but I sort of want to be as self-sufficient as I can, especially like really early on in the closed beta and in the official launch as well. So by all means, use it to bulk up your supply and also the other items as well that you don't need as much of. So you don't really want to invest your contribution points in. I'd use the marketplace for those, but for the ash timber, I wouldn't because you need so much of it. And that is that. If you found the video helpful at all, 
let me know via a like, comment or subscribe. As always, thanks for watching guys and go get some wood.